At over 4,000 miles long, the River Nile is the longest river in the world. For millennia, people living along its length have used it for water supply and also for irrigation. The traditional way of irrigating was to wait for the Nile flood, which takes place between June and September. It would inundate the fields, saturate the fields, and that would allow them to plant their crops at that time. But by the mid-1800s, the demand for Egyptian cotton was such that they needed more advanced irrigation practices. The French built the Delta barrages in Cairo in 1861. That allowed them to control water going into the fertile Delta region of Egypt. That was only a partial success. And what became clear was that they needed a large dam to store water such that they could use that water for a second crop later in the year. In 1866, Samuel Baker wrote to the Times and advocated a dam at Aswan of the first cataract. But it was another 30 years before Sir William Wilcox's design became approved and they could go ahead and use the design for construction between 1898 and 1902. Wilcox's design was for the largest masonry dam ever built at that time. It was 22 metres high and 1,950 metres long, with a navigation lock on the right abutment to allow river traffic to get up to the second cataract. It was built from Aswan granite. It had a hearting of rubble masonry and then a beautiful facing of ashlar. Along the dam wall were 180 two metre wide under sluice gates. The design assumed that the gates would be closed on the falling flood, so generally in September, when the silt from upstream had already passed through the dam and was dissipated downstream. This meant that they stored the water, in this case a billion cubic metres, but did not store the silt, so the reservoir did not silt up. The dam was a huge success, but they quickly realised that they needed yet more water. And between 1910 and 1912, the dam was raised by five metres by the civil engineer Sir Benjamin Baker. That still wasn't enough and in the late 1920s further design work was done by the civil engineer Sir Murdoch Macdonald and his name is still around today in the firm Mott Macdonald. He raised it by eight metres such that the dam as it stands today is 36 metres high, two kilometres long and stores five billion cubic metres of water. But that isn't the end of the story. In the 1970s, the need for water in Egypt became acute, and the Egyptian government built the High Aswan Dam, four kilometres upstream. Now this is 111 metres high and stores over 130 billion cubic metres of water. But it doesn't have the undersluices that were designed by Wilcox. And as a result, the silt no longer passes through that dam and instead is stored in the upstream reservoir. And today, things are still changing on the Nile. The Ethiopian government further upstream is currently building the 155 metre high Renaissance Dam. And some people believe that that will also change the morphology and the hydrology of the River Nile in the future. So you can see the progression of dam building on the Nile. The Aswan Dam was the biggest dam ever built in 1902. The highest dam in the world now is over 300 metres high. And those dams are still being built, and they're being built by civil engineers. So if dam engineering excites you, come and be a civil engineer. Come and join the profession. Join a consulting civil engineer or a contracting civil engineer, and we'll go out and we'll build dams, both in the UK and overseas.